Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. I am overwintering my turmeric plant indoors. And it's about a month and a half, this plant has taken off and it's flowering. So I want to talk a little bit, bit about overwintering and caring for my turmeric plant indoors. Because I am growing in zone 5B, I grow my turmeric in containers so during the winter season I can move the plants indoors. Turmeric plants do well in low light conditions or under grow light. So this particular plant is growing under a grow light but I have another turmeric plant that's actually growing in indirect light and doing very very well. Keep in mind you are only overwintering the roots and it's important that when you grow turmeric indoors you maintain a constant surrounding temperature of approximately 68 Fahrenheit degrees. So this is what this turmeric plant is getting under my grow light. Unfortunately, purchasing organic turmeric rhizomes are very expensive and can only be found in the local markets and health food stores. So therefore I decided to grow my own. This turmeric, turmeric plants can grow to three feet tall. Right now my plant is a foot and a half tall. Now this plant is root bound. It is actually, as you can see, it is root bound and will need to be transplanted in a larger container. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this turmeric plant in this container here. As a matter of fact, I need to pull some of this soil out. And I'm gonna go ahead and plant it in this container. I think I'm gonna take this out a little bit more. So I just went up one notch on the container. So I'm gonna go ahead and backfill this with soil. And I'm filling the pot with the rich organic loamy soil. And I keep my turmeric plant moist and well drained. So I'm going to go ahead and just backfill it with soil. All right, so I'm gonna press the soil around the turmeric plant really snug. Make sure it's in there really secure. And it came from this pot here. So I'm putting it in a little bigger pot. Okay. Now, it's really important to keep the soil moist as turmeric grows better with regular watering to maintain constant, even moisture soil, but not soggy. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a really good watering. To increase the humidity level around the pot, I use a pebble tray. So I actually grow by pebbles, and I'm gonna put pebbles around the saucer here. So 
So this is called a pebble tray. And this is what I use to increase the humidity around the plant. So I just put water in the pebble tray just like that. Then I'm gonna give it another good water to make sure it's nice, the soil is nice and moist. There. So the water would gradually evaporate around the plant, boosting the humidity around the plant. Now turmeric plant takes eight to 10 months to mature. So I will not be able to harvest this turmeric plant until April or May. Harvesting is done once the leaves become yellow and stems start to dry. Harvesting turmeric is not difficult. Simply dig up the plant entirely, including the roots. At that time, I will cut the required amount off and then replant the remaining part again to get a new plant growing. So as you can see, I have just repotted my turmeric plant that is flowering and I'm gonna put it back in my grow light, under my grow light, I have a new leaf coming up. It's flowered beautifully, it's done very well over rendering. If you would check my video up at the top where I was just starting to grow my turmeric plant during the summer months, so you'll be able to see how much growth I got with this plant and how I'm overwintering and caring for it. And if the uh, plant becomes root bound again, I'll repot it, uh, transplant and repot it again. But so far it's doing really wonderful. My other turmeric plant is in uh, indirect light and it's doing well too. So just wanted to share with you about overwintering and caring for a turmeric plant indoors. And um, I'm happy to see the results have been really, really good. So I just put my turmeric plant back under the grow light. So it's been transplanted, repotted. It's in a pebble tray for humidity. And hopefully my turmeric plant will continue to grow. You can see, look at all these other small flower that hasn't even opened up. So I'm excited that this is really gonna bloom very nicely. And again, it's a foot and a half tall. And so it's gonna end up getting three feet tall. So I may have to put it on the floor right near the table, but I just placed it back under the grow light and just wanted to kind of just give you my tip on how well I'm doing in over, over um, wintering and uh, caring for my turmeric plants. So thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.